Welcome to this section of the tutor where you're going to work some multiplication problems and you're going to get some practice solving multiplication problems. Before we get into the actual solving of the problems, I want to make very, very sure that you understand that it is very important to go and learn your multiplication tables. I know they're not that fun, I know they're not the most exciting thing in the world, but you have to learn them because if you don't, you're just going to get behind in this stuff and it's not going to make sense and you're going to be left kind of um, wondering exactly what's going on. So if you don't know your multiplication tables or if you don't know them that well, take a minute to go look at your multiplication tables, take a look at them, practice them. Every day you should go through your multiplication tables until you remember them. You can also play the section of the DVD uh, that you have here that will kind of go through your times tables and do that over and over again. And believe it or not, after a while you'll just remember them because you're going to use them a lot. Okay. So let's go ahead and work some multiplication problems. We're going to start out with some easier ones, and then we're going to move up from there. So what if you have 5 times 3, okay? They're going to give you the problem like this, written like this, 5 times 3. What I want you to do for each and every problem, just like we did for the addition and subtraction problems, I want you to write one number on the top and the other number on the bottom with an X, and I'm to, I want you to write them on top of each other. Now. 5 times 3 is pretty easy because it's basically just something you should know from your multiplication tables. Look at your multiplication table and figure out basically you know, what is the answer, okay? And you should be able to remember, eventually remember, the multiplication of any two single digit numbers. So you should know 5 times 3, you should know 7 times 6, you should know 9 times 9, but nobody's going to expect you to know what 29 times 34 is. Nobody's going to expect you to know what, you know, um, 14 times 19 is off the top of your head, but you should be able to multiply any two single digit numbers, okay? So these are single digit numbers, so you should remember, or at least be able to look it up in the table, what the answer is. 5 times 3 is 15, so you just write 15 down, just like this, okay? You just write 15 down just like this, okay? Now, the next thing would be 7 times 2. That's the next problem, okay? Again, it's a two single digit number, so I'm just going to write the problem like this. And you should remember from your times tables, or look it up if you don't remember, or go review the section of the DVD, 7 times 2 is 14. So you're going to write that down. Now notice in each of these problems, I'm not doing a lot to explain what's going on here, and that's because multiplication really and truly is a matter of remembering. You're just going to have to go over it over and over again and remember. And um, once you do that, then these will come very easily. What I'm going to lead up to here is teaching you how to multiply numbers that get bigger and bigger and bigger, where you don't remember the answer, okay? But these, I'm just kind of leading you into it. Um, these are some problems that you should eventually just remember, okay? These single digit problems here, okay? Again, 6 times 4, okay? You should know what that is. You're going to write it on top of each other with a multiplication symbol. 6 times 4, you should remember from your times tables, is 24. I'm just going to write that down. 6 times 4 is 24. Okay. What about 3 times 3? Okay. I'm going to write that down just like this. And you should remember from your times tables that 3 times 3 is just going to give you 9. Okay. 3 times 3 is 9. So here we have done single digit problems. And these are digits, these are, these are problems that really you should know from your times tables, or at least that you could look up if you don't remember the answer in your times tables, okay? Now let's move into some more challenging problems. 11 times 4, okay? Some people, many people, memorize the 11 and 12 times tables, okay? And that's fine, you can do that. You can just remember that 11 times 4 is going to give you 44. I know that because I just remember it from when I was little, okay? But I'm going to teach you how to do this without having to remember it, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to write the bigger number on the top, just like we always do, and the smaller number on the bottom, okay? Now here is how you multiply, okay? Again, you start in the right-hand column, okay? You start in the right-hand column. 1 times 4 gives you 4, so you put that down. Remember, anything times 1 is itself. So we're done with this. Now what you have to do with multiplication is you have to kind of put a pivot here. You're going to have to multiply by each number. So the 4 is going to have to get multiplied by the 1, giving you this. And then it's also going to have to be multiplied by this 1. It's going to give you another number. So 4 times this 1 gives you 4. You're going to write that one in front, giving you a 44. So it's a little bit different than addition and subtraction. In addition and subtraction, we just dealt with 
what's directly in above in each column. With multiplication, things are a little bit different because this four has to be multiplied by each digit above. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work left and we're gonna keep multiplying. Four times one gave me four. Four times this one gave me this four. So the answer was 44.